already have these fantastic maps that we've created for the ship title, and we want to better that. We're taking all the experience that we've had and polishing and refining everything. There's going to be new places in the Halo universe that have not been seen before. These maps offer a totally different playing experience from what we see in Halo 4 right now. The theme of this map pack is more small-scale arenas. It harkens back to classic Halo map design. Map Pack 2 is going to feature three incredibly solid maps for just the straight up infantry combat that's kind of the bread and butter of Halo. Even though there are three maps and they're all close quarters maps, they really do play differently. Each one does have a different mood, they each have their own color theme, and that's a conscious decision on our part. We collaborate very closely between art and design to create this unified experience. So as a group, the entire DLC is growing together. Skyline is definitely the fastest of the three maps. You're going to be getting into combat faster than ever before. the smallest scale map that we've got in Halo 4 multiplayer now. It's got two bases and two different levels, and really great for 4v4 and 2v2 matches. Fictionally, the map is pretty cool. It takes place on a space tether that's in the middle of being constructed, so you look out and see the skyline of the city. Imagine this brand new city, perhaps rising from the ashes of previous wars. They may only see one small part of this story, but we're trying to think outside of those bounds. Monolith's a cool arena-style map. It's essentially a four-base symmetrical map with the two side bases slightly varied from one another. So one of the cool things about the map is that you've got long lines of sight into the center, but also it gives you a lot of cover so that you can kind of strafe around stuff and have some interesting dynamic encounters. Monolith takes place in an asteroid belt, and in the ancient human and forerunner war, the Didact had issued a command to have these monuments built to the fallen warriors that had died during that war. Landfall is an asymmetrical, mid-sized map that has this really great industrial feel that I think will resonate well with a lot of classic Halo fans. It's really a combination between open outdoor spaces and close, intimate, tight spaces. Landfall is kind of a recreation of a historical battle that happened in the capital city of the Planet Tribute. There's a Covenant attack that's going on, and it's really cool because you can see it in the background. It's hard to get bored of that map. There are so many ins and outs, and I think people are just going to have so much fun playing it. As a designer, the most satisfying thing for me is to get that map that can stand the test of time and people have the most fun on it. If you're a fan that has been enjoying Infinity Slayer and Big Team Infinity Slayer and you're really looking for close quarters combat maps, this is definitely the map pack for you.